Take the colour of an American lager and combine it with the hoppiness of an American pale ale, but use all British ingredients and what you've got is an English golden ale. Let's brew one. When you think of British beers, you typically think of something quite malty, something reasonably dark in colour, and something served, well if not quite warm, at least at cellar temperatures at around 55 Fahrenheit. British Golden Ale is none of those things. It's super, super light. I'm going for an SRM of four here. It's also quite hoppy, surprisingly hoppy. And, well, as far as temperature, just like a good old American lager, you want to serve this one cold. Bit of a bit of cold brew coffee to start the day. It's uh, it's early. All right, ingredients for this one. So the grist consists of a combination of two row pale malt and Maris Otter, and then a pound of white wheat malt thrown in as well. Uh, we're shooting for a final gravity of 1.049, which should give a beer in the range of about 4.8% APV. Alright, while the mash is going on, it's, uh, it's time to open some brewing goodies. It's uh, somewhat humbling to know that my idiocy is partially why the reason that they have this label. I'm really a big fan of these. These are wireless hydrometers and they connect via a Bluetooth connection to your phone and you can keep track of the gravity of the beer as it's fermenting. And it goes really, really well with the fermentation vessel that I use and I've, I've got a new one of those as well. The SS Brewtech brew bucket. I've been slowly upgrading my equipment to replace these PET carboys with these nice stainless steel brew buckets, but the disadvantage of the brew bucket is you can't see what's going on during fermentation. Uh, that is where throwing in one of these tilts is such an advantage because I can monitor what's going on uh, even though I can't see what's inside. So for me, the combination of the brew bucket and a, a wireless hydrometer um, it's the way to go, I think. All right, let's talk hops. So I'm gonna use as my bittering hop of choice, UK Fuggle, this guy here. I have got 1.5 ounces of this because I want to get to an IBU of 35 and these are 6% alpha acids, so that will get me to 35. Those go in here first at 60 minutes. And then at 10 minutes, I'll have an ounce of target hops. And now it's time to turn off the heat, so one more ounce of target going in. All right, let's get cooling this thing. All right, so I've chilled to 68, and now I am putting this into a brew bucket. This is my yeast starter. I'm using Bedford British Ale Yeast, that's WLP006. It's kind of my house strain at this point of, of British yeast. I just keep, uh, just keep re-harvesting it. So uh, that's what I'm gonna put in. The gravity came in at 1.047. We we're going for 1.049, so close enough. I'm now put it in here to ferment. I've set the temperature to 68, where I'll leave it for a couple of days, then uh, ramp it up to probably about 72, just to, to finish it off. 
That's it, brew day done. Well, apart from all the boring cleanup. So here's the finished beer. This came out at 5.25% and it's this wonderful golden color living up to its name. The aroma, quite floral, very pleasant. And really everything about this beer screams kind of warm weather and summer. And uh, this is often called a summer ale and I can see why just from the aroma alone. But let's try the taste. And uh, yeah, you, you're not gonna confuse the, the origin of this beer because it tastes so very wonderfully British. It's a delicious beer. I'm really pleased how this one's turned out. Cheers. Thank you.